This is Dr. Susan Thrall. In this module, we're going to do a pattern match query. Think of a pattern match query as a type of query where you don't know all the letters in a particular thing that you're looking for or all the digits. You only know a few of them. With a pattern match query, you use the word like like tells the computer that you're going to use a pattern match query and you use one of the wild cards. Now let's start with a regular query. Let's say we're looking for a customer whose phone number is in the area code 616. Now notice I have the customer table in as my field list. I have that in design view and I have pulled onto the grid all of the fields from the customer table. So I go to the phone column and I'm going to type in 616 and run the query. And what happens is nothing comes up. There are no customers that have the exact phone number 616. In fact 616 isn't a legitimate phone number. So going back to design view, how do I find my customers that are in area code 616 but I don't know any of the rest of them? rest of the phone numbers or I want all those in 616 but the rest of their phone numbers are going to be different. This is when I use the pattern match. So I type in the word like. I can type in what I do know that I want to find. I know I want to find 616 and then I use one of the three wild cards. The wild cards are the asterisk, the asterisk can stand for any number of characters from none to hundreds. The question mark, the question mark stands for one character per question mark. And the pound sign, the pound sign stands for one digit per pound sign. So obviously the most versatile is the asterisk. The asterisk can stand for no characters, one character, two characters, many characters. So I'm going to type in like 616 asterisk. What I'm telling the computer is find those customers whose phone numbers begin with 616 and then have any other digits or characters thereafter. The computer sees the like, knows you're going to use a wildcard and then when you run the query it brings up all those customers as you can see whose area code begins with 616 and thereafter has any number of characters. Let's do a couple more examples. Now when we go back to design view, first thing we do is erase our previous criterion so it's no longer in effect. Let's say we knew the first couple digits of the customer's phone number. We knew they were 988, but we weren't aware of any of the area codes or any of the rest of the digits. We just knew that a customer had the beginning numbers 988, so we wanted to see all the customers whose phone numbers began with 988. You can do use multiple wildcards when you're using a pattern match query. So under phone number I'm going to type like, asterisk because I don't know what the area code is, 988, that's the part I do know, and then another asterisk because I don't know what's coming after that. I run my query and notice I have two customers that have 988 in the middle of their phone number. Going back to design view, let's do one more example. Erase your previous criterion. Always do that each time you start a new query. The asterisk can be used with more than numbers, it can be used with letters of the alphabet. So let's say we wanted to find the customers whose company names begin with a G, a letter G. So we go to the company column. In the criteria box we type like, G, and then any other set of characters. So we're saying to the computer, find any company that begins with the letter G and then has any other number of characters in it. I run my query and notice all my customers whose company name begins with G appear in the results. So if you don't know the spelling, if you only know a few parts of the particular field, you can use the like and run a pattern match query. I recommend using the asterisk 
not the question mark or the pound sign, because the asterisk is the most versatile.